everybody. I'm Kate from Crate Insider and today I have a new product that I'm really excited to share with you. Um, if anybody's been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I love tools. I really do. And so today we're going to take a look at DRP's Mini Precision Bearing Packer. So this Mini Precision Bearing Packer, something we've been talking about for the past several years, is that it's probably a better idea to precision pack your bearings. It's not just probably. It's more performance if you want to put a precision packing of your bearings instead of just slathering them in grease. When you do the old way of literally packing bearings and, and dipping them in grease and getting them all full, you can really introduce drag that is going to slow you down. So we don't want to do that, of course. Uh, so a lot of folks are going now with packing every other of your bearings. They'll pack every other hole on the bearings just to get that exact right amount of grease. So here we are where, where we're going to give this a shot actually with this new mini precision bearing packer. I really like the size. So when I first look at this, I love the size. And the other reason I wanted to bring this on is because this bearing packer is meant for pretty much any kind of bearing. I do sell the other DRP per, uh, bearing packer and like that one's just meant for wide fives. You'd have to change out the top piece in order to use it with different kinds of bearings. So with this, we can use it with any kind of bearing. So if you've got a, a car that runs wide fives and then you turn around and have like a go-kart or a stock car or whatever, whatever would have bearings in it, you could use this one bearing packer for all those different ones. So let's go ahead and try this out. And I'm really excited because we're gonna try this out with this mini canister right here. So uh, th this is gonna be a little bit of an adventure. I see that this canister on one end, it has a cap and on the other end, it has this aluminum foil type of type of thing. Now, the other thing I notice about this is that it has a lip on one side and this lip happens to be at the section where is the where it's the aluminum foil that's where the that lip is and i know i actually i'll show you how this all goes together in just a second here so the first thing we're going to do is this is two pieces we have the gun portion right here and then we have the cylinder down below so the first step is to unscrew the cylinder from the gun portion of that before we can put the grease in here, we definitely want to pull back on this plunger so it doesn't really interfere with what we're doing. Now there are happen to be when you pull this out, then it's, it's hard to see, but there's two little grooves right in it and you just have to kind of feel for it until, until this plunger wants to come out. There we go. It, it comes out just like that. And then we're going to pull a little bit harder and turn it. And that way it's going to lock that in place so that this plunger is completely out for us. So we'll set that aside for just a moment here. And now we're gonna take a look at our little mini grease tube. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take off this cap that's on the end. And I've got a little knife here and we're just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda slice at this a little bit. And there's probably an easier way of doing this, but. We're just gonna slice at it a little bit and let's see if we can get this cap up. Oh, there we go, the cap just kind of took right off. And, and now that cap is off of there. And now we're gonna try to drop this in and it may not happen. Okay, yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this or not. I really didn't get instructions on this part. And so um, Lenny at DRP, forgive me if I'm not supposed to do this. But this, this tube, I'm trying to just slide it in here and it doesn't just wanna slide. It wants to run into that decal. So I'm going to take off this whole decal that's on the outside of this uh, of this mini grease tube right here. So I just sliced it with my knife, and there we go. So now I'm just going to peel. I'm just going to peel this off of here because it just seems a little thick. And if I'm not supposed to do this, I apologize, but that's what I think is going to work better for me. So now here I'm going to drop this in just like that. Oh yeah, that's gonna just slide right in there now where I was having kind of an issue before. And now that we have the grease tube inside of here, I'm gonna use my knife again and I'm gonna cut into this um, aluminum foil that's at the top of this. And it probably just peels right off. Um, maybe if I probably wanna hit this so that I can get my grease a little bit. I don't wanna waste any of this grease. This is. This is not um, inexpensive grease. This is some of the best grease that you can buy on the market. 
Um, this is the Kluber Isoflex, and I know that Lenny at DRP has picked out this grease specifically after trying um, lots of different greases. So here we go. All right, so I've got most of that, most of that foil off of here. And then our next step, really simple, is we are just going to screw this, uh, screw the tube right back onto the gun right there, just like that. And you saw that that lip meant that that lip that we have on that grease is keeping this tube really locked in place in here. Okay, so I'm guessing, don't know, I'm guessing though, oh, before we can use the gun portion, of course we need to depress the plunger. So I'm going to pull again, um, and there we go, just kind of let that in, and I'm just gonna kind of get it into place. Um, and I, I'm not super familiar with doing all of this, but I'm just kind of pushing on this plunger kind of pushing on this plunger to get out some of that air that might be in there and that we won't, shouldn't have to work too hard. I'm kind of guessing that I probably need to squeeze this a few times just to get some air out of the system, but we're gonna find out. Oh, actually it worked really, really quickly and we already have grease that wants to come out of there just like that, so really simple. All right, so now let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm really excited now because I've got this bearing right here and I'm just gonna set this in place and then just squeeze the trigger. Oh, I think I still have a little air bubble. Oh, yep, I do. So it got an initial, oh goodness, I got it going everywhere. All right, all right, now we know it's working. All right, probably not the preferred method, but then again, this is, you know, this is not my uh, area of expertise, so to speak. So if I can do it, literally anybody can. Uh, and I'm just going from, from spot to spot and just a nice one little, one little uh, crank of the gun here and it's working beautifully. Uh, I love how I can see grease on both sides. And if you're even halfway, if you've, if you've even probably even done this two or three times before, you're gonna be faster at this than I am. But I'm having a lot of fun with it. I think this is a perfect tool for, really a perfect tool for being able to grease your bearings very simple and easy to use because clearly if I can do this literally anybody can and I think this would be a great project even for like kids that are helping out in your shop it's a fun tool to use and you know of course we'll be selling these the we, we've got both of this the the whole kit actually we sell on the website where it's got the gun and the grease and then we will also have those replacement grease tubes as well we'll have that on the website as well so i want to thank you so much check it out this is again the drp mini precision bearing packer available at crateinsider.com check it out for yourself and i will look forward to seeing you guys in another video thanks so much for watching